What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Lynette. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Stan Lad. And we're here to do the final recap of the Have and the Have Nots. Season 3, episode so 12. 12. Enough is enough is the title. Before we even get started, Veronica had had enough <laughs> of her hair. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> we gonna go. We got. Y'all gonna get what we got. Seriously though, for real. Okay, whatever. All right. Starts off. Jim he walking through the living room. Catherine's on the couch. He got a little little drink and drink. So he's hollering for white. Why you get down here? Why you get down here? This whole scene confused the heck out of me. Yeah, me How about too. You? Yeah, I was confused. But he's like, have a drink with me. Sit down and have a shot with me. How about you, Catherine? Take a drink with me. I'm like, is they about to kill Wyatt? Yeah, cause cause mind you, you know, he been trying to get Wyatt to stop drinking. Yeah. And now to offer it to him, that's that that that's, yeah. I, I don't know. So he asked why, you know, tell me why you hate me. Tell <clears> me <throat> everything. I can take it. Da, 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 da. So you know what? Okay. 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 He said, I'm mad. I hate you because you're evil, what you did to mom, and all the, the whores. The whores. <laughs> he can say that word, boy, the whores. The whores, cheating on mom. So he was like, why? Why? So, you know, Jim goes into the typical you know, answer. I have a, ha a healthy appetite for sex mm -hmm. <laughs> that I just cannot control. And part of the game is, which is very true. So y'all take nuggets from this. The game is all in the chase. Mm -hmm. So he pretty much said, my thrill is the chase. But once I get them, I don't even know what I was chasing them for in the first yeah. place. And then I want them gone. Uh -huh. So why I was like, is that what happened to you and mom? You got her, now you hate her. He was like, no, we used to be in love. We just hate each other and we just decided to stay together because of y'all. Because of y'all. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he going back and forth, back and forth. And um, then Jim tries to do some reverse psychology. I'm sick and tired of <laughs> yeah. trying to take care of y'all and protect y'all. And da -da -da -da. one little ball. And uh, I was like, what? He was what? like, and when, when I get with Candace, I'm going to do her in. So Wyatt was like, if it wasn't for you, Candace wouldn't when even be in, in that be place. In the scene, yeah. So. so he was like, no, when your sister got with Candace, that's when she started going crazy or whatever. And Wyatt brought up again. It's like, if it wasn't for you, my sister wouldn't even know Candace. Yeah. He quickly threw all of that out the window. He said, well, Candace is the past. She's crazy. She's delusional. And she will be dealt with. Yeah. And I'm moving on. I'm moving on. So he pretty much tells Wyatt in so many words that this is your last drink before you end up being somebody's female. Yeah, in, in prison. prison. You're cute, they're gonna bend you over, they're uh -huh. gonna rape you every night. Yup, in your little cube sized cell, they're gonna get you. He said, look at the way that you look. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna take advantage of you in the prison. Yeah, so it looked like it started getting to Wyatt at the end and they quickly cut scene. Yeah, so I, I don't know why. I really don't know what that was all about. I don't know if they're trying to get him to flip his story when the DA gets there. Is they trying to set him up and saying that he been drinking and that wasn't really what happened, you know? Because by the time the DA gets there, he's gonna be fully intoxicated. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know what Jim's angle is, but but I, I'll throw this in here too. Um, yeah, I don't think why I thought that whole thing out. He caught himself. You know, getting revenge back at his parents, but not realizing that you was the one that committed murder. So you just you just told on yourself, right? Because his daddy told him, saying, "While you in prison, me and your mama is gonna retire. We're gonna go off somewhere." And they was like, "Yep." So I was like, <laughs> "Oh, before I go, oh for that scene at least, Catherine admitted to having three or four fans her own." Oh yeah. She yeah, she's been creeping. <laughs> with that tennis instructor, she said with that ponytail, said he can do some things he with that ponytail. That ponytail. Said, well, it was like, 
say the secret creeper. What TLC TLC said I be creeping. Said cheating in the next room. <laughs> All right, we go back to the next thing, Hannah's house. Hannah's in the in there. She's finalizing now Amanda's funeral arrangement. She's asking for was it was it tulips? I don't remember, but Somewhere. anyway, she was like, make sure that they're there. There's a knock, knock, knock on the door. Who's that knocking on my door? Uh huh. Quincy. With that dry ass curl. <laughs> so. She actually hollered this time. You know, Hannah has a habit of being living in the hood but opening her door. Yeah, just phew. Well, she was like, who is it? He was like, it's Quincy. She's like, I'm going to call the cops. He was like, look out the window. I was like, what the heck? I said, he's going to shoot you between your eyes. You look out that window. But he had her grandson, which we all knew the grandson was. What did, yeah. That's, yeah. We all knew. Yeah, that. well, this food. She finally opens the door because she wants to see her grandson. No, we got, we got, we got the backup. Oh yeah. I this fool, this fool, is gonna take his own son and turn him upside down with one leg to make Hannah open, open the, the door. door. He won't go. He up. won't gonna drop him. But she know how crazy Quincy is. Right. I don't know. He crazy. I don't know. He might have dropped. He would have dropped that baby. But you know, he made me think of um, what you call it on. Um, oh, Michael Ealy. Yeah, Michael Ealy when he dropped the kid. What movie that was on? I can't remember. But he shouldn't have did that part. Yeah, yeah. Because that, that kind of messed me up every time I see him. I see that part. Yeah, but that, but yeah. Neither here or there. But I still love you, Michael Ealy. But anyway, she tries to. Well, first of all, Quincy let her hold the baby. And uh, is anyone else confused by the fact that this little baby knew her? Yeah. Hey, Grandma. Is hey, Grandma? It's like, what? Haven't he been supposed to have been gone for a long time? Yeah. So how does he still know her? Yeah. That yeah. Was, that was yeah. That didn't connect unless unless we don't miss something. We ain't miss nothing. But it ain't it ain't add nothing in my mind in my book. Yeah. Yeah. So Butchera. Butchera. Um. She tries to um. He tries to get the baby away from um, Hannah. Hannah's pulling out on the baby. No, don't take my baby. Da 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 da. Tell me what Candace was at. And she's like, No, I don't know what Candace was at. So that was him just snatching the baby back because he wanna know what Candace is. So, in the midst of her trying to snatch this baby, he slapped a twirl in her. Yes. She was gone with the wind. Kenya Moore, fabulous twirling. I said, did he slap her and spin her around? And she fell on top of the car. Yeah. And I was like, oh, dog. I was like, oh, snap. When uh, uh, Benny is going to kill you, dog, once he find out that you done hit. Oh, you don't mess with mama. I'm telling you, you can mess with anybody you want to, but don't you especially hit mama. Right. And the only boy. Ooh. You don't do that. Ooh. We're going to get on off of that. Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm gonna, yeah. Next thing, we back at the hotel at the Sarandon where Veronica done tore up some stuff. Yeah. Dave is sitting there looking real dumb. Like, yeah. Him and Maggie. So Maggie was like, I got a private eye watching her. I don't know if she was talking about Veronica or Candace. I don't know who the private eye is supposed to be watching. Did you figure that out? Uh, I have no. Well, I think probably probably watching um D Monica. That's the only one I can think of. I don't know, but anyway, Landon comes up and David was. I'm cutting the last stuff because it's gonna be long. But David gives Landon his phone or shows him the phone because he has the number of the owner of the Sarandon. Yeah. Because. They need these tapes destroyed. Yeah, they need to they need to block all the footage from getting out. They don't need the real camera. They need a destroy camera. But I'm like, put it out there. Right. You act a fool in public, let it be seen in public, expose the demonica. Cause David well, he was sitting there, he was sitting there and, and he looked like he was smoking crack. He, he was sure sitting did. there, he was sitting there. They were talking to him. He was He had his um 
His raw special leather coat on. Yeah, you, the you one saw that last week. week. Yep. It was a medium too. <laughs> but anyway, um, David tells Maggie, I'm going home. Maggie, for the first time in a very long time, talked to David with truth and some sense. Yeah. About his situation. Mm-hmm. She was like, you don't want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to go home right now. Did you just not see what I saw? You need to let that heifer cool off. Yeah. David was like, I'm going, going home. home. I said, that's, David, don't you take your tail over. That's that pride talking. You know, that yeah. pride brothers have. Well, that's my house. I'm going home. Right. I'm like, you you know how crazy this chick is? Did you just see she just done destroyed? Simple. The whole, Simple. Simple just, just turning over tables and just don't care. If she do that in public, what's she gonna do to you in private? Come on now, Pam. And they, mm, anyway. <laughs> then he comes home, I guess he comes home from towing cars, I don't know. But he tells his mom, he was like, Ma, I got your favorite meal, you don't have to cook tonight. And with that Kool-Aid smile, he's still on it. <laughs> he on that special sauce, I'll tell you. Him and Andre from Empire been hanging out together. Uh huh. <laughs> so. Broke. <laughs> but it there were no basketballs involved though. Yeah. Um so Hannah is trying her best to hide this cheek from Benny. Yeah. So she goes and gets the food and she's like You said What's wrong with you? So what? Benny was like, Who did that? What happened Who to your face? It? What happened to your face? Da 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 and the first thing that came to my mind was he think Michael did it. That's the first thing. That's what I thought about Michael did it, but now he so, instantly knew who did it. Yeah, so she finally came out and was like, it's Quincy. That daggone Benny's whole demeanor changed <laughs> for the better. Because that's how you act when somebody lay hands on With your mama. mama. Yes. I don't care. Mm -hmm. She could be in the wrong, but you put your hands on my mama. You hear what I say? Yeah. Okay, I need to calm down. You need to calm down. Uh, yeah, cause right, y'all. <laughs> yeah, cause I almost just went in the safe. Don't make me break the glass. And she gonna try to call him. No, no, Benny. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't go after. No, no. Come on now. Did you see what Benny tried to do to Michael? And Michael ain't do nothing to you. Yeah. So Michael was innocent. He just tried to get some drugs. Yeah. He wanted to kill Michael. Now this, this, this crazy joke gonna hit. You and you don't think he gonna that he gonna do nothing? And she got a big old bruise and she brown like me and you. I don't think Ben done, done been to prison big as he is. That's some prison muscles right there. Hmm. <laughs> That's a good thought. He is built like a prisoner. <laughs> he built like Apollo Netta. But anyway, real camera. So Wait Kat, a minute, did you pray? Huh? Don't Apollo on left. Yeah. How you getting this? I was thinking about Apollo today. I'm praying for Apollo today. I don't know why. I'm praying for In real life, I really was. Um, but uh, uh, I'm really confused because I don't know what day we're in. But Candace has this Hamburglar dress on again. Nah, that's that Freddy Krueger outfit. That's Freddy Krueger on. So, yeah, as soon as I saw her, I just wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Why? <sighs> She looks fabulous in it because she she can wear a paper bag and look fabulous. But you know, good. but you know what? It's it's still the same day. Is it the same day? Is it still the same day because that's the same day that Demonica destroyed the, sh the um the bar because she had the dress on then. Yeah, your mom. So it's still the same day. Okay, but anyway. But and she's still rocking the dress. She's still rocking the hamburger, Freddy Krueger dress. <laughs> uh, but you rock. She goes and sits down with Landon. Landon is a songbird. You hear what I say? Mm -hmm. He is like he's a Manaha you front so because he's telling everything. I don't know what happened, but uh, but Veronica came in here and set it off. She don't broke up everything. Um, don't tell Jeffrey. Da, 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 da. So Jeffrey shows up. It's like you, you know, Candace will shut up about that. So Jeffrey said, "What happened in here?" Landon said, "I don't know." Your mother. Your mother did this. Your mother. <laughs> Talk, your mother did this. <laughs> <laughs> Before she could get the words out of her mouth good, Melissa shows up. Candace said, What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Don't you know he's gay? 
He don't want you. He doesn't want you. She said something weird is about you. Yeah. She come in. <laughs> Jeffrey, I really need to see you. Can I talk to you in private? <laughs> Which is the weirdest thing it's ever. Like, what? Because I don't know. Jedi, please fill me in. Does Jeffrey have a room there at that hotel? Because he just I, seems I, to be having rooms. Yeah. It doesn't look like Candace's room because nah, it doesn't it have like all the Candace stuff. Room, so I don't know. I, I don't know. But I'm I so think confused. that was a mess up in the script. Because I'm like, how? Because I ain't know. Unless it's, it's, well, it can be land. I don't, unless it's landing room. I don't know. No, but landing knocked on the door later on. Because why would they knock on the door? Like it's on the door. Yeah. I'm so confused. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, Melissa and Jeffrey go to a room she's pretty much i feel sorry for the girl because she's kind of pleading please love me please yeah. accept me please sleep with me and this chick just crawls out of her dress faster than a two dollar hooker at the red light in for free i said wait a minute wait a minute something ain't right I said, this chick up to something. She's like, come on, please sleep. We can do, we can look at gay porn. We can you bring a man in the bed with us. Say, I don't what? care. Like, I can what? I can look over all of this. And Jeffrey was like, I don't like women. Yeah, like what? And Jeffrey's so slow. Yeah, he 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 <laughs> Jeffrey got off that off that short bus <laughs> when he was in Jeffrey school. Jeffrey <laughs> is so smart that he's dumb. Yeah. His street cred is at a negative 10. All time low. I'm like, my dude, my dude. Like, what? No girl is eager to sleep with no guy like that without being set up. Yeah, you got motive. If you keep pushing like that, it's, yeah. def it's definitely. Women don't have to do that. Definitely motive. So she lays on the bed as if she wants Jeffrey to go ahead and take me now. Yeah. Do me, baby. Do me, Ugh. do me, baby. Just, just lay it on out. <laughs> Back then, it's six o'clock. That's something, something. But anyway, by the time she could even get her thing, I'm a bob straight of how she was gonna seduce him to sleep with her. Here comes the rescuer, Candace. To the rescue. The hamburger dropped in that room. <laughs> she said, "Wait a minute." Something is wrong. Something is wrong. She grabs the girl's purse and the girl's like, no, 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 no. Candace was like, get off me. Get um, off. So she goes through her pocketbook and she was like, what you doing at Mercy Hospital every day? Oh, here's your bank receipts. Oh, Melissa really is your name. I commend you for that. Mm -hmm. And she was like, if you wanted to be a hoe, you could work for me. I'll pick you. I'll pick you. <laughs> she said, I'm not, I'm not a whore. She said, Yes, you are. <laughs> this is whore stuff. This is whore stuff right here. She said, you are a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> so she finds, I thought it was a pregnancy stick, but it was an ovulation stick. Mm -hmm. Which, I had said earlier that I believe Melissa was pregnant. Probably not by Jeffrey, in the least. But, I think she's pregnant and trying to put this mess on Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. But we'll get to that a little later. So after Candace finds the ovulation stick, Melissa is like embarrassed, shocked, whatever, runs out the room. So by this time, Jeffrey and Candace was like, all right, let's go. I don't know where they were going, but let's get up out of this room. Before, before they could even turn the knob on the door. Before they could swallow the next spit. Before they could get to the door. Veronica, Demonica, the <laughs> Wicked Witch of the Dirty Dirty South. She calls, but she sounded like a dude. Hello, Hello. <laughs> Jeffrey. I need you to come by the house now. Now. Say what? She said Melissa told me about. You put her out or something. I was yeah, like, put her out I was so shocked. I was like, that ain't right. Veronica on the other end of the phone? Yeah. She sounded like she didn't take her hormones. <laughs> I was like, she missed her shots for the day because. Something all right. That Adam's apple was going. Yeah. Or either that was that damn old demon coming out her throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I can't stand her, y'all. 
Mm -hmm. Program. But, uh, yeah. So Candace was like, don't you take your black tail over there, Jeffrey. You, do you, look at your face. <laughs> like Kendall Hall said, look at your face. Don't you, can't you tell over there. Yeah. He goes over there anyway, he, cause you know, he, he still, still has yeah. that, that car thing. Yeah, she still got that over his head, so, so she's still he's controlling it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Your Monica got you? Yeah, I think she messing with my throat. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, like a um, Jedi when, when he thought she was on the back of the TV, he said. <laughs> That thing tripped me out. He said, Lord, I thought she got me. <laughs> so she done got my throat. She tried to take my voice, so I don't like her. Hold on. I think this is my favorite scene because I find joy in stupid stuff. Little stupid stuff makes me laugh. Benny pulls up in the hood in war spot, driving that guy Dodge Charger like Pinky's, Pinky's driver. driver. Yes. On Friday. Yes. <laughs> Y'all remember when Friday when Pinkish driver hit that curb in that pink Cadillac, uh, yeah. that pink limo? Uh huh. And he's like, Aah! he come there. <laughs> Why do you hit about a hundred just to slap more bricks on the curb? He got to say, you made me home and made me spill this yak on this two hundred dollar suit, ugly suit. <laughs> yeah, that's how Benny pulled up. In the hood. Yeah, we did a play, y'all. Y'all should have, y'all should have been there. Yeah, we gotta tell them about that one. We gotta tell them about that one there. But uh, Benny rolls up. War is like, you know, first of all, who just rolling up on us? Like, roll, yeah, yeah. But it's Benny, and I almost forgot that Benny and War got a, you know, they they cool. cool. Yeah. I almost forgot that. Yeah. But uh, Benny was like, War, where's Quincy? He was like, I don't know, but you know, What's I can make a call. Yeah. He's like. He came over to my spot and hit my mama. He said, what? What? You would have thought it was war mama. So he did what? He did what? And he was like, he came over there and he hit my mama over at the house. So he made a phone call. And they was like, oh, he been hanging out at the strip. At the strip club. Yeah. So war was like, you need me no, to go you with you? I said, no. I got this. You know somebody's crazy when they got ample amount of backup and they say they don't need it. Nah, that's that pride talking right there. No, that's that crazy. Yeah, crazy pride. Yeah. Pride yeah. crazy. Uh-huh. Whatever. We're the best situations like that before. Yeah. But we done rolled up in the hood real crazy. Mm-hmm. We ain't had no backup. Yeah. Had to snatch her up out of it. But that's another story. Right, your own death wish. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, next scene. Jeffrey goes to his mom and dad house. This is the scene I been waiting for. Yeah. Yeah, this scene by far is the best scene. I love it. I meant to tell y'all the other day, I, I'm just sorry. I, I had to keep a secret though because Tyler was gonna sue me if I did. And he was gonna put another copyright on me because he been doing that here lately because he don't want me to talk long. Yeah. But Veronica had already came over here yesterday and she told me some stuff about what was gonna happen. She told me that in Hollywood they don't really believe in greasing their scalp and you know people itching their scalp and stuff like that. So she sat right here and I took my red tail comb and I scratched her dandruff and I greased her scalp with some hair food but you know, you know when you get your your scalp freshly scratched, you don't want to put your wig back on. So when she left, she just really had like um, her wig liner cap on. I put that back on, and her scarf. But she left her wig here. <laughs> so if any of y'all want to buy Veronica's wig, I will be having this on eBay tomorrow. First thing in the morning. Yeah. It has three bundles, a Brazilian, wavy, with a lace closure. I'm telling you, ain't nothing but the business. But Veronica came over here yesterday, and she told me that this scene was gonna happen, and she needed her braids tightened up, her scalp scratched, and greased, because that was gonna be what was gonna be exposed in the next yeah. episode. <laughs> I did that for her, but I didn't want her to leave her hair. So somebody, Veronica, please send me your P.O. box. I can um, I can get you your baby back. I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna sell it on eBay. 
Yeah. You ought to sell it. Um, you I will sell. sell it though, cause I really don't like you, but you ought to sell it. I got a little little street cred for letting you come to my house, and plus you let me have a Cadillac Escalade too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Pearl white, trim this over. But y'all, why in this scene? Where she's sitting on that couch looking like Queen Latifah on Set It Off. With that dang um, <laughs> brown slim cigarette. I can't remember what it's called, but we used to smoke them. I can't remember what they were Back when is. we used to first smoke cigarettes. Like, that's the first cigarette you yeah. ever tried. I can't remember what it's called. It's never she used to sitting there. She was drunk. She was toe off from the flow up. So, as soon as Jeffrey comes in the house, Yeah. How bad did he beat you? <laughs> Say, she think what? this mess is funny. Yeah, it's, it's... I said, <clears throat> oh my God. So she goes on and on. Uh-huh. My whole life been a lie. It's been a lie. He over there messing with that whore. <laughs> you, I, I made you play baseball. Football. And all you wanted to do was wear some dresses. Yeah, play with baby dolls. He said, I don't play. Why don't play no baby dolls? You might as well. She said, You might as well. <laughs> she said, Because you want a man. She said, But I need to tell you something. Congratulations. I'm going to be a grandma. Jeffrey said, what? Like, what? <laughs> Jeffrey was like, do you got another kid? And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what? Because I no baby. <laughs> <laughs> this chick right here, she needs to get choked out really, really, really good. Who, by you? I'll do it. You'll do it? I'll do it. <laughs> i do it for free. <laughs> just just put it on World Star when they do it. I just need that. World Star! <laughs> So, she admits, <laughs> it was all set up, I got you, uh, you it's know, like, what? we got her ovulating and we planned everything, how about, you know, the porn was even set up, did you notice that it was, a, what she said, was mm -hmm. one man, I don't she know, was most, she was mostly was. all men, so it could get you, get you turned on, yeah, so she was like, but tonight was just, just in case, but you're gonna be a father. And this means you gotta marry her. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. He turned into a whole nother cat. Finally. Yes. Finally. Yes. He let that heifer have it. He say you evil, pathetic, you disgusting, disgusting you evil, you, and he said you stupid. You stupid. <laughs> he said I'm stupid for even wanting to love you, to make you no, no, accept no, no. me. No, no, he said I hate myself. Yeah, I hate myself. For loving you, I hate myself for letting you control me. I said, oh. So you know she gives it back to him. That's cause you want to. You want a man's hair and chest rubbed up against yours and mustache against yours. It's disgusting. He said, you know what? Yes, I do. do. I desire to be loved, held, and I supported. Yeah, I love I deserve to be loved just like anybody else that's breathing on the face of the earth. That's God's creation or something. And then she tried to talk again. He said, no, shut up! It's my turn to talk. I said, uh oh. I see. Uh oh. Yes. Uh oh. Yes. yes, it's about to go. Like Kevin Hart said, it's about to get real. Had or that, it just got real. He had that tear come down out of that uh, angry tear. Mm hmm. That's when you don't mess with somebody. Somebody that's quiet, don't mess with nobody. When they get that angry tear, shut the heck up. Yep. They're going to wreck the place. <laughs> she, he, he, he shut her D -d 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 down. He said, I'm done. I'm done. Go to hell. Yep. And storming out the door. I and said, him and Wyatt and they go to hell. Uh-huh. Finally. And here she going back on the couch. She said, 
We gonna name that baby. Name that baby. I said just evil. No. I said just evil. I'm talking about capital E V I L. Evil. Evil. All right, next thing. Benny finds Quincy exactly where Ward said he was gonna be. <laughs> On cue, Quincy, cue, cue, <laughs> um, comes at the strip club. So he don't, you know, he don't made it rain. Got him a little couple of black dances, get money. Um, right. Benny, <laughs> he gets into the Eminem Brown, the dirty car. Backs up. Benny. Say, man, you done tore up the five hundred dollar car. That's an income tax money car, man. Man, he done tore up the five hundred dollar car. That's Charlie Fault car, man. He didn't even finish paying for this. <laughs> he paid four hundred dollars a month for that car. But he walked the dog doo doo on Quincy. He no, he ain't even open the door. He pulled that joker through the window like Deuce has. He you know how Deuce has you got out the window. He pulled that joker out through the window. They should have had that music. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they should have did. As soon as he pulled about that window, he beat the snot out of him in slow yeah. motion. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, everything did slow down, didn't it? <laughs> you know, everything is dramatic. He said, now, slow motion. now hit me. Now hit me. <laughs> Everybody running, the strippers running out the club with their ones and their um, little G string or whatever. Everybody looking. <gasps> I hear the cops come. But they cut scenes, yeah. so you didn't really see it. Lord have mercy, I'm yawning. I know. <laughs> I'm so glad this is the last one because I need Ooh. to get my sleep back because we do this late at night. Yes. So, they cut that scene. My boo David walks in that goddamn house. <sighs> he probably said, What the hell I'm saying? What is going on with my wife, Hal? Say no, the she need to put that hair back on. I'm sorry, David. It's over here. Yeah. So, <laughs> David did send me a tweet, and he asked me where was the. He know I got it, but neither here there. <laughs> One of y'all come get it. But uh, Veronica said you're not supposed to be here. Say what? So, Veronica is really a sociopath. Because no matter what anybody says, you know how somebody, she has this, that thing where it doesn't matter what you say to a person, if they're stuck on it, they're stuck on it. Mm -hmm. And she's stuck on the fact that he stuck, slept with Mac. Yeah, even though he done told her like a thousand times, I didn't do this anything with this woman. Ass on my Mac. So, it, 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 I'm, I'm over it. I'm, I'm really just ready for the, her and David just to deal with their foolishness. Yeah. Leave Maggie out of it, but she's. Yeah. Yeah, you should go back to the hotel with that whore. And yeah. I mean, it's just so. David said, "No, I'm here." Cause this is my house. This is my house. This is my house. I don't know if David heard her or he thought she was playing, but she whispered under her voice. She said, "If you stay here, you're gonna need a doctor, and, and you're not gonna make it out of here tomorrow." Cause he was like. I'm gonna get you committed tomorrow. We're gonna yeah. go see somebody. We're yeah, gonna see somebody. Cause you, you, cuckoo. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. And cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. So she's like, oh, so you're gonna get me evaluated and you're gonna turn all this on me and you got the DA to come to my house. And David was like, I didn't send what? them DA to your said, house. I don't know so. what you're talking about. But like you said, she's stuck. Wherever she's stuck at, she's stuck she's there. She's stuck, she don't move. So they quickly get off of that scene, but she did tell him, don't, don't go to sleep. Yeah, don't you go to sleep because you ain't going to, in other words, you ain't going to make it to, to see the mob. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next scene, we're going to breeze through a few of them because there's nothing we're going to tell. Yeah. But um, Landon knocks on Jeffrey's door, which we don't know if it's Jeffrey's door or not because yeah, I'm know, still confused. Yeah, I'm still confused. But um, he knocks on the door, Jeffrey. Jeffrey got kahunas now, so Jeffrey knocks him on the bed. Jeffrey takes off his shirt, and Jeffrey is cut. A plus for that. <laughs> um, 
and um they start doing what they do i ain't gonna see it uh but your, uh, uh benny calls veronica i don't know if he called the house or what was it the house or the hell i don't know but he yeah, calls he, veronica he called her cell phone number he get her cell phone number yeah, he calls cell phone number. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's something to think about. That's another weird, 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 weird. But uh, he tells him that he's in jail <clears throat> and he needs an attorney. And she was like, I'll look into it. But I honestly thought that she was just going to sit and let, you know, hang the phone up yeah, and hang the phone up and don't even do anything. So, next scene was Candace go back to the bar, order some wine. Oscar's there. Uh, you know how Oscar is. So Oscar still hanging around. Mm -hmm. So she pretty much invites Oscar up to the room, send a bottle of champagne to the room. Oscar said, I told you that I thought you we were going to stop. I told, I told you that you we were going to stop. stop. Mm. <laughs> so they get up to the room. Oscar's like, look at this view. He turns around and Candace is in a pink negligee. Mm -hmm. And he's like, this view is even better. better. So they Hook was getting ready. Sink. Yeah. I mean, Candace is a beautiful girl. So, um, they was getting ready to get into it. I was like, Candace is about to get victim number, I don't know how many, but. He probably was number 2,555. Yeah. <laughs> Knock on the door. No, no, no. I thought it was Quincy. I thought it was Quincy every time. Every time I think it's Quincy. It's mama. Where's your brother? Where's your brother, Candace? Where's like, Benny? I don't I know. Benny. Where's Benny? And you can see the Hannah's looking in the background like, here she go with this foolishness. Didn't I just pray for her? Yeah. She, <laughs> She didn't address it though. She she was concerned. Nah, she, she was worried about her son. Yeah, she was she was like, I don't know. I really don't. I really don't know what Benny is. So next scene is we see Veronica and Benny leaving out of the look like the county jail. She said she was stumbling. She said she was drunk. She high. said, Can you can you drive? Cause I've been drinking. <laughs> Who let her get somebody out I of jail I've drinking? Been drinking? I've been drinking. I've been drinking. <laughs> Ah, watermelon, <laughs> watermelon. Um, <clears throat> this whole scene right here was so disturbing to me. Yeah, this that this. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Like on the ben, hangover. Say, Benny, you just don't know. You just don't know. They Ben is driving. I actually thought Quincy was in the back of that truck I and he was too. gonna clock him. Yeah, I thought, I thought so it was too. a setup. But uh, she tells Benny to pull over, and she's telling Benny, David's having an affair. Yeah. David was like, I mean, Benny was like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry for whatever it's worth. But I'm out of jail. I don't care. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and she puts the moves on him and starts kissing him, and it just looked so gross to me. It was just like, so gross. Like, Benny, no. I was like, Benny, Benny, no, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it! Then she started going downward. Yeah. Benny! I had come to back. my eyes. Benny, come back. I need to get my holy oil and anoint my eyes. Hey, Benny, Benny, you 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 signed your life away. You don't know what you don't know what you doing. No, no, no. So the next scene. Hannah goes. No. I already covered it. Yeah. Road camera. Road camera. Benny drops. I to go back. I am. I'm so tired. Um, Benny drops Veronica off. She kisses him again. Mm -hmm. Again. Again. I was like. <clears throat> she. Um, so Benny was like, "I'll bring the truck back by tomorrow and drop it off." She was like, "You it. can keep it." I said, "What's what? People just just give Benny call. I ain't talking about like who this." We're yeah. talking about a freaking Cadillac, freaking SUV. You notice Tight. that, um, I'm going to bring this up because it's stereotypical. Because you know a Chrysler 500 is a black man's, <laughs> that is, <laughs> that's his Mustang. Uh-huh. <laughs> a black dude love them a 500, oh my God. <laughs> and don't let them black it out and put rims on it. You cannot tell them that they is not driving a Bentley. Then they, then he gives, she gives him a daggone Cadillac Escalade. Yeah. That's when you get your money. Yeah. When the black man finally get his money, he, he get, get a, a get Cadillac, Cadillac Escalade. Yep. I was like, you know what, or a Lincoln Nash. Like, come on, Tyler, man. You, 
You don't bought into the stereotype. You don't bought right into the stereotype. You don't bought into the stereotype. I ain't mad though. Cause after looking at Empire, I want me one of them Lincolns now. They got no Matthew McConaughey sold the heck out that Lincoln. D so. Like you pushed the D. Had, had me had me mesmerized. If that's the I said did I say that right? I mesmerized. said wait a minute. Did I say that right? Mesmerized? Mesmerized. It don't even matter. Okay, smart guy. I'm done in it doesn't it's a guy that I look at, I can't think of his name right now, but every time he get hung on something, he said, it, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it don't even matter. I ain't getting paid um, for it. <laughs> so the next scene is, Veronica, see she pulled out her other wig to go get Benny. You notice it was straight. Yeah. It was a little flat iron. She pulled that off to get Benny, but she- Was that Brazilian? Yeah, that was Brazilian straight. <laughs> she, well, I don't know where the heck she got some gas from. Yeah. Yeah, because they ain't stop. They ain't stop nowhere. Cause Benny probably said, what, what, "What you need gas for? You flat on cutting the grass? What you flat on?" <laughs> but she pouring this gas all over the room. She having an Angela Bassett moment. Uh huh. On she actually looked like her for a minute. With that cigarette in her mouth. <laughs> I wanted to start singing. Everyone falls. I said, no, you have some time. I said, no, you ain't gonna try to. You ain't gonna, you, no, no. You're not gonna burn up Dave. She lights that cigarette and she did the Angela Bassett flick. I was your lover and your <laughs> secretary. <laughs> yeah. I was done. I said, David, wake up. Wake up, David, wake up. You still asleep? This winch, winch, this wicked witch of the dirty south. See, she should have bursted into flames by now. <laughs> the evil that's running through her veins, she should have bursted in flames. She goes and sits on the step like she had to pop. And yeah. her husband upstairs getting ready to get charcoal on rotisserie. He not gonna burn up though. But you know, that's how the season ended. It teed me off. But it really did wasn't like a cliffhanger, you know, to me. Not yeah, to me. It, it was it was a cliffhanger, but not to kind of be like, what happened? What happened? Cause David's not gonna burn up. No. Nah, they got didn't. that house is too expensive not to have sprinklers Prince in the system. system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. That's as soon as the flames hit, the water gonna come down, yeah. and David's gonna wake up off the bed, and he gonna choke the mess out of her, and he probably go to jail. Mm -hmm. But he's not gonna get burnt up. So it's really so they left with that. They left with Candace getting ready to have sex with Mr. Oscar. Everybody was Oscar getting Maya late. Wiener. <laughs> he like yeah. And uh and and um uh, Landon, Landon and, um, and it was that's how that's how they, they, they left us. So everybody was getting laid tonight except for mm -hmm. um Hannah. And Jim yeah. and um Miss Cryer. But they don't do anything anyway. And then I'm mean, I do not know if you can call the part with Benny a cliffhanger. I don't think that was well, yeah, that's, that's it. I don't know when they're gonna it's put it back gross. on. I don't know when yeah. um, season four is gonna come on. And I'm sorry to say, mm -hmm. but if it ended just like this, I would be fine with the having and have nots. You know what I mean? I think at this point, it's good, but if it left off just like this and just picked up like with two more episodes to show us what happened, I'd be fine with it. Yeah, because like we on Empire High. Yeah. So. Drip, no. drop, drip, drippity drop. Yeah, so now. Lucius and that demonic stuff he was doing in that last. That was crazy. I'm but, a rise like the but we, But we ain't doing that review right now. We ain't gonna do this one. But, but we thank you all for yes, watching. Yes, well, for watching this one. Yeah. Thir thir number, what is the 12, number? 13? It don't even matter. Um, yeah, for following us, commenting, subscribing, liking. Being patient with us as we went through our copyright mess. Yeah, we appreciate it. So we really do appreciate all of you all. Um, we want to give a great shout out to my cousin, the Jedi. He is so supportive. We support each other. I yeah. love that dude. He's like family for real. Yeah. Y'all go over and look at his channel as well. He does a really good review. He He's a really in-depth one. So yeah. he'll catch stuff that I won't catch. Yeah, he'll catch stuff. And then yeah. sometimes he'll be like, you know what? I didn't think about that uh -huh. when I looked at you. So, yeah, you know, we so feed off each other a yeah, lot. So we make a good team. Yeah, so go check him out. Tell him that we sent you. And 
until next time you guys and until the next time we decide to review something we don't know what that is or what do you like you do me let me throw this in there we are uh, we contemplating about reviewing um um if loving you is wrong if loving you is wrong we not sure yet yeah but i tell you what um Leave your comments. If you interested in us doing it, let us know in the comments field. Like, yeah, I think y'all should do it. And uh, we'll just weigh in and just see if, if everybody's interested and we'll, if we do it, you'll see a video. Right. Yep. But you won't see it on time <laughs> because that's too late. Yeah, it come on real late. But uh, you can finish that out outro. We will see you all <laughs> in the next Wiggy Wig Wig. Video. All right. Y'all have a good day, good night, good evening. Take care. Peace.